So we're going to learn how to import notes from your computer, long notes or homework assignments that, that you need to, some, or notes like for studying or anything, and import file, HTML files to my HTML and any other program that you, uh, you can just use the same pattern the way you import into my HTML for any other program that you would want to import, like pictures or a different text editor. So it's quite simple, I'm going to teach you mainly about the HTML editor, and it's, I love it because you just, on the go, you can edit HTML files and create your website. And you can edit it. There's a lot of code. Should be right. Oh, let's see. Open. And there's a lot of code. Uh, there's my HTML. There's a lot of code there. I would not like to type that with uh, this keyboard. That's just tedious. So. It's nice to have an HTML file on your computer built, uh, typed up with your own keyboard, you know, and then import into here. And it's quite simple. All you have to have is SSH. Hello, um, so I'm going to teach you how to quickly uh, transfer your certain files into your applications on your iPod Touch that are jailbroken, such as my HTML. My HTML is a uh, application that you can edit your HTML files and like a CSS files on the go. That's kind of cool because you can make your own website within minutes um, while you are waiting at a dentist. Uh, so it's quite easy actually. Just open up your uh, connection with iPhone Tunnel and WinSCP. I don't know how tutorial, to do that. Um, how to SSH into the iPhone or iTouch. So once you have that, open the screen we have library and media folder. Just go right here, in the drop down menu, go to slash root. Click that, that will bring you to the main page. Click user, you come to this. Now, how about you click, let's see, right here, see applications and library and media. Uh, do not click applications because that's going to bring you all these weird file names, as you see. So, let's go to library click on library and that brings you to a select number of application and I want you to go all the way down to let's see my HTML do you see that right there my HTML highlight that and double click on it you see two files I've already put in there you can put either a text file or HTML file just go to your desktop or wherever it's saved um, right here and drag and drop it into the window. This will come up, copy, click copy, and I already have a file that exists, so I'm just going to click yes. And it is copied. Now just to be safe, because last time I did this, the file would not show up on my iPod Touch, so until I sync, it did show up. So just press sync right here, it should sync, and you should be ready. And a while. Once it has synced, um, I think you're done. Now and I'm going to quickly show you how to get your iDoodle images off your iPod Touch. So click my computer. As soon as the window opens, um, right here. Okay. Let's see. There it is. Uh, where? Where to go? Oh, Apple iPod. Just click on your iPod and eventually here it is here are just four random pictures of a ping pong table i drew and you just there you are there they are and just drag and drop them on to your uh pc just like that it's very simple and for notes so far if you can look through the let's see right here you can see there are notes right here it's notes.db. I tried putting in a test.txt. It did not work. It did not show up on the iPod Touch. So I guess that this is a special file that records all the information from the iPod Touch when it's typed in. So so far you cannot, um, I, I believe you cannot put in your own note files from your computer into your iPod Touch, but you can use any other applications like file editors and you can just do it the same way I showed you for my HTML. Just go to the library, to the file name, such as my HTML, and just drag and drop it right there, and it should work. If you have any questions, uh, please ask me, 
And one more thing, please subscribe and visit my site. www.tricksmaster.com Please visit my site without visitors and users. I don't think I'll be able to make the tutorial videos. And thank you.